Hey you guys, hey everywhere. This is your boy Tay coming in once again, and I am here to do a video response, honey, to um uh, the word Smith. But I like to give a shout out to the word Smith and the Bradley Show. I just seen y'all video, and I just had to speak on it. Um, they were talking about um patience and the dating thing and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, thank God somebody have the same thought process of me when it comes to the dating thing. Because I've been across a couple of people who either walked up to me while I was out or at the club or something. People who would message me on the YouTube, Facebook, BGC. BGC. And um, they would be, quote unquote, hollering at me. And me knowing what I look for in a person, those are not the type of people I look for. No see no shade against them. It's just once you find out about the person and you get to know them and you clearly see that's not what you want and you keep on moving. I mean, no see no shade, there's no see no shade. But um I do agree with you, um, Gloria Smith on it does get lonely sometimes. You wish you can have somebody to come home to and to really cuddle with and kiss on and do the do and all you yeah, know. I, I do get time like because I I may say um when I get them hormones get to you yeah, know it's I go in, I go in. But I would just like to come say thank you and people please be patient. Even though, like me, I ask for so much in a significant other, I'm willing to be patient and wait. Even though my some of my friends and my BFFs, they're like, hey, you can make a cute boyfriend. You want such and such to be cute together. You deserve to have a boyfriend. You deserve to be with somebody. You don't need to be single and lonely. Which me, okay, I understand that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. But me and my life right now, I don't think... A boyfriend would fit. Reason being is because one, I don't have my own place. I'm staying with my grandmother, and they can barely accept me. I mean, they accept me. Not like I'm gonna say like that, but they can barely handle me as being gay. Let alone having somebody else come in to be my boyfriend. That would be all. Baby, they'd be thinking it's World War Three up in here. So, I told myself I would wait until, one, I get my own car, and two, I get my own place to get in the dating scene, but as time progressed and I thought about it, I was looking at Alonzo LaRonde, shout out to Alonzo, how you doing Alonzo, you want know like? Um, I remember him saying, I don't look for love, I let love find me, and I go by that, but after thinking about that, I was like, how the hell love gonna find me and I'm not even out there. But anyway, I'm not looking for love. I will let love find me. When my time comes, it comes. I'm not rushing, even though I'm single and not I'm not lonely, honey. I'm just living life. I the things I do to not think about being single so much is I um I stay busy. And for the people who know me knows that I'm always busy. I'm always doing some project. I'm writing some songs. I'm doing something. I'm never still unless I'm just lazy and just laying out, looking at YouTube videos and catching up on some emails that I haven't caught up on. But then that, I'm always busy. I try to stay productive and try to stay positive and um, just do what I do. So thank you guys so much for that. I really, really needed to hear that. Somebody understand where I'm coming from. I know I was running a little bit. I hope y'all ready to follow me. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys have two awesome channels. And I do peek in every once in a while when I can. I might not comment when I want to. But I do look at y'all videos and I like them and favor them and all of that. So thank you guys so much. And for all my subscribers, they videos will be in the description. Please go check them out, go subscribe to them, because honey, when they give me my life, you might want to get yours too. So, um, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.